What is going on guys, Matthew here. Uh, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Bali uh, Mini Logo a Complete Deck. Um, I just got it in the mail today from Black River Ramps. Um, and it's actually really cheap. I bought it because it was an affordable option. And so I used to fingerboard way back in the day and like I have Berlin Woods and let's see, Affliction K-Dex and a bunch of stuff. And I wanted to get something newer because I've had these for so long and they were in the attic for so many years that like the pop just wasn't there. Um, they still work pretty well, but so I wanted to get a new deck. Sorry, I'm rambling. Um, so I got the Bali deck because it was cheap. Um, I really like the logo. I remember Bali from back in the day. Um, so yeah, I thought I would give it a little review, let you guys know what you're uh, getting yourself into if you buy one. Um, so first off, they are a very decent size. It's not too skinny. Um, I believe it's just slightly wider than a Berlin wood. If you look at that, and it's slightly longer. Um, the pop is great. It has it just has a lot of pop. It feels really nice. Uh, I haven't fingerboarded in ages, so when I got it, I was like, can I still do tricks? Uh, and I'm still able to, you know, not land that tray flip, but you know, you know what the deal is. Uh, but yeah, I just want to give you guys a quick review. I think it's a great affordable option if you're getting into fingerboarding or uh, if you don't have a ton of money to spend on like a Berlin wood or something uh, and you're looking for just a more affordable option. I think it is a good uh, route to go. Uh, it comes with grip tape that is um, already cut to fit the board. I'm terrible at lining that stuff up, so I couldn't actually get the grip tape on, but I have packs of rip tape, so I just put on a fresh seat, a fresh sheet and uh, just sanded the edges to get the grip tape on. It comes with uh, Bali wheels, which have bearings in them, but they are plastic. Um, so take that with a grain of salt. They work pretty well, like the roll test, it'll roll right off the table, um, but compared to like flat face, like G4, it's not quite as smooth. If you hear that, those are flat face G4s, I believe. It's been a while, so I could be wrong on that. But those are some flat face bearing wheels, and then these are the plastic bearing wheels. So, still pretty smooth. Um, but yeah, and then the trucks that come with it are chrome. Uh, it comes with two sets of tuning. Um, it comes with white bushings and black bushings. Um, all the screws fit in well. Everything is made well. It's a five-ply board. Um, it's got the Bali logo there. You can get it in, like, green, yellow, and natural i believe but yeah i just figured i'd give you guys a review let you guys know if you were interested in buying a bali deck that uh they are a good option and i would definitely recommend it um i don't think i'm going to be really spending too much money on fingerboarding as i used to do it back in the day and i have a bunch of this other equipment uh but i'm going to be using this deck a lot i think it's going to be my main deck i might replace the wheels um, get something a little bit nicer, check out some of the newer fingerboarding companies in the scene, which if you guys have any recommendations, put them in the comments because it's been so long and I don't really know, uh, what the companies, uh, or who the companies are nowadays. Cause I, it used to be like Affliction and obviously Black River still around, Flatface still around, um, Finger Decks back in the day, Pro Wood Fingerboards, Creekwood FBS, that's my Discord. Um, but yeah, that's the review. I won't waste any more of your time. I'll link the deck in the description if you want to buy it. Uh, hit me up on Instagram. I'm Matthew Hedgehog if you want to chat fingerboarding and stuff. Um, but yeah, have a great day.